doing lemon drizzle, but we're doing it a little bit differently. Normally I do it in a loaf tin, but I've decided to do it in two cake tins because it's my good friend Leanne's birthday today. Happy birthday, Leanne. So I want to make a little surprise because I know she loves lemon drizzle. That's why we're doing this today. So we've got the ingredients in front of me. I'm gonna put the measurements on the video as we go. We've got some lovely large fresh lemons. Now I've left those out overnight. You can also just give them a little roll on the table and that'll bring the juice out more for you. We've got some salt, we've got some baking powder, butter, sugar, and a little secret ingredient. I use a Greek yogurt in there, it just gives that a nicer flavor at the end. Um, and some flour and a little bit of vanilla extract. Now remember, I don't like using essence, I like an extract. I'm only gonna put a little dot in that because it'll just help to bring out the flavor. A little bit like when we're using the salt, the salt in recipes just brings out that flavor better. So I'm gonna start by putting the butter and the sugar into my machine. As you know, you can do this by hand, but why do it by hand when you have a machine? Put those in together and we're gonna cream those for about 10 minutes till they're nice and light and fluffy. So we've got three large lemons here. I always say you can never have enough lemon in lemon drizzle. So I'm just gonna take off the outside, just literally. You might need to wash your lemons. And I always go round. Rather than going long, you get quite long pieces, where if you just go round, you'll get very, very fine pieces coming through. And that's what you want, because you don't want to be picking out of your teeth when you're eating your lemon drizzle. You just want that flavor in there. Okay, so that's nice and light and white, and that's what we're looking for. So top tip, don't add the lemon zest until this is nice and white, because you won't be able to see it's white. So once that's white, I'm gonna put the lemon zest in there now, and then I'm going to add the eggs slowly. So that's gonna take about a couple of minutes, and then that'll be it ready. I'll take it off the machine and fold in the rest. this by hand. Some people have the flour on the machine um, but when you're doing this recipe I want to keep it nice and light so I'm just going to fold everything in by hand. These are brand new tins actually, I've just bought these for Leanne's birthday um, but they are double non-stick apparently but I always, and they're also loose bottomed which is quite handy but I also like to, I think it's just habit put a piece of silicon paper. So I've just cut that round to the right size and that's just gonna go on the bottom. I've buttered the edges as well, as well. I don't bother papering those because when it comes out after two minutes, it will shrink and it'll leave the sides anyway. So get those ready. So we're just gonna add our baking powder to our flour and our little bit of salt. And that goes in and make sure that's sieved because as you can see, it gets little lumps in there. Then we're gonna add half the flour into the mix. Fold that round gently. The vanilla extract, just a little bit there. 24 grams of lemon juice. A Greek yogurt. And then we're gonna put the rest of the flour in. Just until combined, we don't want to overwork it. That's ready now to go into our tins. Today we're gonna to go into the oven, 150 degrees for approximately 20 minutes, just until it spring back. So where our cakes are cooking in the oven, we're gonna get the lemon drizzle bit ready. So I've got 50 grams of lemon juice and 50 grams of sugar. Now I've heated the lemon juice up in the microwave so it's nice and hot. I'm just gonna add that together, give it a mix around until it's dissolved. I've got the skewer here waiting, um, and then we've just got to wait for that to cook. Now we've got another five minutes to go. I'm just gonna show you very quickly how to make candied lemon. So I just want to put this on the top as garnish. So with your potato peeler, just peel like that. Then you're gonna get your knife and you're just gonna take it into very fine, fine strips, okay? Really, really fine, as fine as you can get them. You can see how fine that zest is now. 
and I've got a boiling pan of 50 grams of sugar and 25 of water. I'm just going to pop those in there and leave that now for 15 minutes. And then after 15 minutes, I'll bring it back to the boil and leave it again for another 15 minutes. And that should then be enough just to cook that out. So that's ready now. You can just test it by just squeezing it and it should be nice and soft. And then you're going to strain that out. Once that's cool, after about four minutes, then you can roll that in sugar or you can just use it with a zest, which looks lovely and shiny. So they're ready now. And what I'm going to do is just, as they come out, I want to do it where it's nice and hot. I'm just going to skewer it all the way through. And then I'm going to put the drizzle over the top. That will soak in. And also these pans, it'll help to keep, it won't come out the bottom. That's what I quite like about these new pans. Now that's taken slightly longer because I think the metal's thicker on my new pan, so it's taken 27 minutes to cook those. But just touch the top until it springs back. That's what you're looking for. And then you're just going to drizzle over the top and leave those to cool down. And that's going to take about an hour probably. And then I'll show you how to finish off with the icing on top. And I'll even put a nice lemon curd in the middle. So that's nice and cool now, and I've just got a nice large plate to put it on. I'm going to turn, turn it over. And then I'm going to put some lemon curd. I made some lemon curd, so I don't want too much lemon, but just enough to stick the two together. And then we're going to make the icing to put on top. So the last bit of the cake is the icing. I've got 145 grams of icing sugar here. Now you've always got to sieve the icing sugar because it always has lumps in it. So just give that a quick sieve and then we're just going to bring it together with some fresh lemon juice. So be careful when you're adding that lemon juice, you don't put too much in. So just start with a couple of drops and bind it together. You can always add some more. And we want it thickish because we don't want it running off the side of the cake. We want it just to drizzle down slightly. So now we get to put the icing on. So this icing is taking 25 grams of lemon juice. So you just want it so it's flowing just down the edges. And I like nice thick layer of icing on this as well. It's very, very lemony -ness. And spread that out. Use your palette knife. So I just want that dripping edge going down the side. So what I'll do, I'll just load it slightly on on the edges, just so it drizzles down a little bit. And you can see it's just starting to go. And if you tap the bottom of the plate it will just start to fall nicely. So we've got our lemon zest we had earlier and you could put like a little bunch in the middle if you wanted to and just finish it like that but I like to put little bits of little crosses on mine so just so it catches the light and it looks nice. So that's the lemon drizzle finished. I can't have a piece today. Well, I might have a little slice tonight. I've got to wait. So uh, thank you so much for joining me. Please put a thumbs up if you like it. And any comments down below, I'll answer. Thanks very much. See you on the next one. Bye.